Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video and today I'm bringing to you my 7 types of assault player in Battlefield 1. Let's see which type you are and which ones your friends are. You can get them in here to show them and let me know in the comment section below. And if you haven't seen my previous types of players list then go and watch them too. Uh, they'll be in the YouTube video description. With that being said, let's get straight to type 1 and that is the objective obsessive. This player gets all over the map for the good of the team, taking people on here, there, and everywhere. If there's a flag to be captured or defended, then they're up to the task. Need a checkpoint outside the flag defended? Get the objective obsessive. Need to push up the map to gain control? Get the objective obsessive. These are the assault players we love to have in our team, and so we salute you, you fine individuals. Moving on, we have the demolition expert. This player loves to blow things up and take structures down. Dynamite, rocket gun, and tank nades and mines, the assault class just draws these players in, and they do a fantastic service for a team. They make quick work of vehicles whilst remaining deadly against infantry with their smart usage of things that go boom. Our third type of assault player is the Hellregal only user. Yep, we've all seen them. They've decided that the Hellregal is the best weapon in the assault class for them and thus they never touch anything else. It's just one easy kill after another, mowing the enemies down with next to no difficulty and stacking up those service stars. Judging by just how many Hellregals I see in an average play session, there should be a ton of you out there that fit into this category of player. Next up we have the Shotgun Addict. This is the player that's constantly up in your face ready to blow it off before you have any time to react. One trigger pull and this player usually has a body on the floor. They need solid map knowledge, positioning and reactions in order to be aggressive and not get endlessly picked off at range by wandering around in the open. A good shotgun user can be infuriating to play against and I'm sure we've all raged about them at one point or another. The fifth type of assault player is the spray and prayer. This player usually uses the automatico and much like the shotgun addict has your bleeding corpse spread eagled before you likely even got a bullet out of your weapon. It's as simple as spray and dead, spray and dead, rinse and repeat. This player patrols the map at speed and strikes fear into the enemy at close quarters. Our penultimate type of assault player is the versatile slayer. Give this player whatever assault weapon you like and they can get to work on that kill column. I know I'm not just showing you the standard Hellregal for this player, don't be mistaken. This is the Hellregal defensive and it's nothing like using the standard Hellregal, but it does come with a bipod to make it a ranged beast in the correct situation, which kind of makes up for its increased recoil at close range. The versatile slayer can adapt to the different strengths and weaknesses such as with the Hellregal defensive and put enemy after enemy to sleep. And our final type of assault player is the variable range beast. The assault class mainly dominates at close range, but this player wants lethality from further away too. Often selecting a weapon such as the Ribeiro LS, the variable range beast is to be feared all over the map regardless of your surroundings. One minute you think you're safe, the next you're on the respawn screen. And those are my 7 types of assault player in Battlefield 1. So which are you and which are your friends? Don't forget to get them in here to show them and to let me know in the comment section below and feel free to tell me if you think you're a type that isn't on the list. Once again the other videos I've done of lists of players will be in the description below if you'd like to see them. There's a link towards the bottom of the description as well to support the channel for $4.99 a month if you like what I do around here and feel free to like, favourite and subscribe. I'm GitGoodGuy and I'll see you next time. Laters.